This video will teach you how to rotate this video. Into this. To do this, we need a PC application called Shotcut. You can download it free from Shotcut.org. After we open Shotcut application, we click Open File. The second thing we need is an image file with the appropriate resolution. For example, if you want the resolution of the resulting video is full HD or 1920 by 1080 pixels, then you must have an image file that have a full HD resolution. You can create the image file on your own using Microsoft Paint, or any free image editor. Or you can simply search and download the image from the internet. For example, I will use this photo which have 1920 by 1080 pixels resolution. We click then drag the image to timeline. If you can't see the timeline, click at this icon at the top. We need to do this step because the first file that we input into timeline will be as a base of output resolution. If we input the first file in full HD resolution, in landscape position, then the application will think that is the resolution that we want. After that, we save the file by pressing Ctrl plus S. Fill in the file name and click save. After that we open the video we want to rotate. We click and drag to insert into the timeline. In this steps, get ready to press Ctrl plus S rapidly to save the project. Now, quickly press Ctrl plus S key. The reason is, in my case, the shortcut application crashes at the time I insert vertical video to the timeline. Maybe it's just my case only. If you not experience this problem, then you don't have to press Ctrl plus S rapidly as I did. Ok, let's close the application then we open the file that we save earlier. After that we click on the empty part here. Then we right click and select remove. After that we click on the video file that we will rotate. We click filter. We click the plus sign. Click on the display filter icon. Choose rotate. In the rotation section, we fill the desired degree of rotation. Then in the scale we fill 200% or as desired. After that we click on the image that we entered earlier. We right click and select remove to delete the photo because it is not needed anymore. After that we click export. As we can see, the output resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Same as the resolution of the image that we input in the timeline. We click export file. Then type the desired video name. Then click save. Then you just need to wait while the video processed. It may take some time to depend on your PC processor performance and how big the file is. Thanks for watching, I hope it can be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel so you can easily find us if you need this tutorial again in the future.